call signs November 1320 Sierra. Uh, it's a Cessna 182. Um, I'm going to say it'll be about 1300 local, 1200 Zulu. Okay, 1200. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be here about 1200 Zulu. So yeah, I'll put Sprint in the system just so that if you do call up, they might be aware that you want the crowd break. Well, so they'll just see what you say at the time. But that is definitely an option. Yeah, if you need you, if you need that, they'll think you into the ILS and you can just head down. We are. Runway 26 as well today, which fits in a bit better because you know that that's yeah. pretty close to that as well. But yeah, that's absolutely fine if you want to request that, no problem at all. Fantastic. So yeah, I mean, like I said, if 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 I'm VMC when I approach Dunk as well, I won't need it. But uh, I'm 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 intend I'm expect. What are your conditions at the moment? Uh, so at the moment, our current meet are the 920. We've got. Um, I'll just bring it up. Uh, so we've got wind 270 degrees, six knots. Uh, it's varying between 240 and 310 degrees. We've got all the nines visibility broken at 1,300 at the moment. Right. Okay. I'm kind of minded to try and do the cloud break approach anyway, just for practice. If that, if 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 there's any chance of needing it. I mean, if it's clear VFR, then I won't obviously I won't, won't yeah. need to do that. But uh, thanks very much. Good to have spoken to you. I'm glad to know that you're going to be ready if I do if I if I do need you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. <sighs> so I've spoken to Farnborough, Lars East, uh, and I've spoken to Exeter. Um, so I am nervous. But I shouldn't be because I'm qualified to do a solo IMC flight from Sussex to Dunk as well. Um, so I've got no more excuses to put it off now. I just need to get the, get, get the plane, get it uh, fired up, checked up, started up, get in the air, get a traffic service from Farnborough East while I'm VFR before I then get into IMC, then climb up into IMC and intend to do the entire flight from Sussex back to Dunk as well in IMC expecting to do uh, uh, an ILS approach into Exeter to get me out of the cloud. But if I don't need it, I don't need it. But this will be my first voluntary solo IFR flight for either six or eight years. Um, I've got to start using my uh, IMC uh, rating more and start to build some experience. But for some reason, it just gets you really nervous. Um, I also called my instructor this morning and just told her my plans and, and uh, she said, what fun she said now be courageous and said no no you don't, don't need to be courageous you you can do this you're qualified because I, I i revalidated my imc rating five weeks ago so um but in all the years i've had an imc rating i've only ever used it apart from um refresher training and revalidations i've only ever used it once it was a long trip to to um and a skill in Northern Ireland in a 172 that didn't have an autopilot. So, and that was that was solid IMC the whole way. Um, but I've got to start using it more because yesterday's flight from Dunk as well to Sussex was a very stressful VFR flight. And if my IMC confidence had been higher, I would have gone IMC. My sister and brother-in-law very kindly gave me a lift. So despite switching my fuel tank to one side only, the fuel's drained completely into the right wing. I don't know if you can see that. That is, I just cracked the top. Just open the top of the wing, check the fuel level and the fuel kept pouring out. So it's brilliant. Problem with parking on an angle, so both pointing, the plane's actually pointing downhill and leaning to the right. So the oil reading on the dipstick looks like the oil's really, really low. But it's just because it's parked leaning forward. So I've got 39 gallons that side, and I've got this side. 21. So it's 60 gallons. Which is more than enough. That's four hours including reserves, so it's three hours plus reserves for a one hour flight, so I'm absolutely fine with fuel. On the oil, you've got to make a judgment call. I've got to know how how this plane burns oil, and it just doesn't burn very much. It only burns about one litre or one quart of oil every 10 hours of flight or so, um, which seems pretty reasonable. And I've recently topped it up, so I'll keep a close eye on the oil pressure. But yeah, these just before you're about to do an instrument flight, your first instrument flight, your first solo IFR flight,
flight. You just don't need these extra little worries, do you? So these low cloud bases, if I'm actually feeling better about doing an IMC flight than I would have felt about doing a VFR flight because this low cloud base gets lower the further west you go. It would have been another uncomfortable scud run. So once I get up onto my instrument flight plan, just autopilot or not, I can still fly it. It's going to feel more comfortable. So I think preparing and planning to fly IMC, if you're prepared and planned, is actually less stressful than scud running VFR. Taxi over that crest, all the way down to those trees you can see in the far distance. Um, this is actually an 800 meter runway, but it's got tall trees at that end and it's got power lines. I don't know if you can see the, so we've got those on the departure end of the runway, but I should be well away by then. 800 meters is a long runway. One of the extra considerations on this flight is my handheld radio is a backup and it's particularly useful if you're going to be in, in instruments as a backup against electrical radio failure. Uh, this Bluetooths to my Bose headset, but my Bose headset can only accept two simultaneous Bluetooth connections and it already has one from my phone and one from my iPad. I get the audio alerts from Skydemon through the Bluetooth connection on the iPad, which is, that's the most important one because those audio alerts are really helpful. The phone is useful if I want to make a phone call, but otherwise not. So I'm going to switch off the Bluetooth on my phone. I'm going to check that the Bluetooth connection to this is working before I depart. So, and I'm going to tune that to Farnborough first. So that in the event I need it, it's already tuned to Farnborough and I know the Bluetooth connection is working as well. All of the yellow M's along the south coast, so it's marginal VFR the whole way, which just means good visibility under the clouds, but low cloud base typically. Okay, so here's my departure briefing for myself. I'll be taking off runway 26, which is directly on track for my uh, first leg of my journey. I'm going to, I'm already on the radio to Farnborough, I'm going to climb straight ahead. 1600 feet, which should keep me still um, beneath the clouds, still keep me via VFR. I'm going to establish my traffic service with Farnborough before I climb up into IMC, and I'm then going to be climbing on track to Shoreham to 5000 feet. So, depart straight out, climb 1600 because that's the minimum safe altitude, or, or cloud base, whichever is lower. Um, establish traffic service to Farnborough, and then once past the Gatwick TMA, uh, climb to 5,000 feet. Okay, power checks. <laughs> Mixture rich. Check idle. Farnborough radar, November 1320 Sierra. they'll be able to read me while I'm on the ground. No, it's probably not. Soft field takeoff, 20 degrees flaps. This has got a real camber on at this runway. I don't know if you can see that. So, full power, airspeed live already. Put us in the air. 40 knots. Farmer radar, November 1320 Sierra. 1320 Sierra, farm radar, pass your details. November 1320 Sierra has a Cessna 182, 1 POB, just lifted from a private site in Sussex, just southwest of the Mayfield VOR on an IFR flight to Dunk as well, uh, requesting a traffic service. Number 20 Sierra, Lenny QNH, 1016, Squawk 1731. Uh, please confirm Squawk 1731. Number 20 Sierra, Acom. Squawking 1731, QNH 1016, November 1320 Sierra. 20 Sierra, report your passing altitude. 
passing altitude 1,700 feet. Uh, November 203 hour, check uh, your uh, Q&H please, 1016, your mode Alpha is showing altitude, sorry, mode Charlie is showing altitude 700. Sorry, that's actually just a readback mistake on my part. It is reading just 750 feet now, 203 hour. Uh, Roger, basic service initially, traffic service only available 1,500 feet or above due to the base of radar cover. Roger that, I'm climbing, in, I'm climbing now uh, to get that as soon as possible. Uh, the cloud base looks to be around about 1,500 feet, 200 Sierra. Remember 200 Sierra, Roger, report passing 1,500 and then levelling up. Uh, I hope I can get to 1,500 feet while still in VFR. Remember 200 Sierra, 1,500 feet. 200 Sierra, identify traffic service. Roger traffic service and requesting climb to uh, 5,000 feet. And remember 200, base above you is altitude 2,500 feet. Roger that, aware, um, tracking south to get out of that base and, uh, and then climb 5,000. Uh, Roger, base a mile south of you is altitude 4,500 feet. So stop climbing 4,400 initially. Roger, climbing 4,400 initially, 200. Sky Demon is not registering my climb. Never done that before. Stop navigating and... Barber Radio, Golf Alpha Sierra Hotel X-Ray. Hotel X-ray, pass message. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, jump over to Shoreham on 123 decimal 155 and then come back to you, Golf Hotel X-ray. Uh, Golf Hotel X-ray, Roger, uh, retain this squawk and report back on frequency. Retain squawk, report back on frequency, Golf Hotel X-ray. Right, I had a look at Oscar Bravo Hotel Echo, Potter's Bar now, with a CCK, the LS3122, for the fire thanks for your help. Golf Hotel Echo, squawk, thanks for the free call, LS3, goodbye. Alpha Radar, Golf, Alpha Sierra Hotel X-ray, back on frequency. Alpha Sierra Hotel X-ray, Farm Radar, London QNH 1016, basic service. QNH 1016, basic service, Golf Hotel X-ray. Now, Golf Hotel X-ray, what's your intended routing up to Manchester? Will you be looking for Farm for Control Airspace Transit? I am looking to see if I can get a little bit further west. If I can safely, I will then duck into uh, Shoreham and land. If not, I will be uh, doing a smart about turn and heading back to uh, Headcorn Golf Hotel X-Ray. Hotel X-Ray, understood. Golf Mike, Papa Fox Rock Charlie, traffic service. Golf Mike, Papa Fox Rock Charlie, pass your details. Golf Mike, Papa Fox Rock Charlie is an AA5, uh, lid to Biggin Hill, 2 POB, BFR, currently at Tenterden, uh, 1,800 feet on 1017. Uh, request traffic service, please. Fox Rock Charlie, Lincoln H, 1016, Squawk 1732. QNH 1016 and Squawk 1732, Golf Fox Rock Charlie. Foxtrot Charlie, basic service initially will upgrade when able. Two sector boundary. Basic service will upgrade when uh, available. Golf Foxtrot Charlie. Golf Hotel X-ray, farm radar. Golf Hotel X-ray, party message. Hotel X-ray, Sean just rang me. I think uh, they were unable to uh, speak with you two-way due to your altitude. They said give it another four or five miles and then try again. They should be able to get you when you're a bit closer. Yep, all copy, Golf Hotel X-ray. I got Fox Rock Charlie, just be advised, Lash and Dinar active, up to flight level 120. 
Roger, keep a good look out. Go for it, Charlie. Number 20 Sierra River report reaching altitude 5000. Climbing 5000 report reaching 20 Sierra. Oh my god, how beautiful that looks. Immediate lesson learned from just these first few minutes of the flight. You cannot rely on Sky Demon and Sky Echo while on instruments as your primary. I mean, everyone knows that already, but I just found myself being so used to looking at that. But it, it was in, incorrectly reading the altitude. And it's forced me just to use my six pack and my Garmin. As I know a lot of you are saying it should be. Just coming up on 5,000 feet. That took all my concentration. The one I had to change just to level off to fly level. And I started focusing on leveling off. Turning right tank. I started banking right without meaning to. So that was hand flying in hard IMC on my own. It's only the second time I've ever done that. And right now, I'm going to turn on track. I'm now using autopilot. Uh, which massively reduces the yeah, workload, my goodness me. So much easier. The Sky Echo just appears to be refusing to power on. Look at that. that solid cloud base I flew up through. It's so beautiful up here. It's like being in another world. Absolutely stunning, look at that. We're next action. Fuel checked, radio checked, engine. T's and P's all good. 23-23 on the manifold pressure on the RPM. Fuel flow, a bit richer than it needs to be, but just happier that way. I'd rather have a bit too much fuel going in than a bit not enough. So my engine settings are all good. Direction. 268 degrees. 268 degrees. Altitude. Altitude. 5,200. I'm at smidge high. A smidge high, but... Flames is very subtle, they don't want to start messing around with its levels right now, so I'm going to leave it at 5,200 feet. It's telling me that, thing is telling me that the battery's flat, but it's plugged in. To the power. The iPad's getting power, so why isn't the ADS... Number is, uh, good afternoon, Gold for Sierra Uniform, of course, that is basic service. Going back to life. May yet have Sky Demon. Okay. All right, we're back. Back on Sky Demon. I'm going to be able to track that. I'm not going to use its primary flight. I'm slightly off course, so. Oh, there's a hole in the cloud down there. I can see Terra Firma. This is less stressful than scud running. And that's a great takeaway from this experience so far. You know, th there are certain things that you don't realize until you experience something for the first time on your own. This is the first time I've done an IMC flight solo 
for a very long time, so that's the first time I've played it. Even though I'm VFR on top, I'm still in the IFR mindset. Because I know any time I might need to descend into the cloud for whatever reason. So, I am on instruments. Now, I don't have confidence about the autopilot's reliability for keeping my heading if I'm descending or climbing. So that's something that another day on a VFR day I should practice and just see how good it is because from memory it kind of lets go of the heading when you start descending. Which isn't that endearing. So when I do descend, I guess I can do a gradual descent and just keep a very close eye on it. I'm anticipating having to hand fly the descent through IMC. Now, the other thing is, is that the, the weather forecast at Dunkerswell and Exeter is better than here. November 1320 Sierra Squawking 7355, uh, 5200 feet QNH1016 and requesting trans uh, transit your overhead at, five, uh, at this altitude, 20 Sierra. November 20 Sierra, Roger. Southampton, the goal, big piece of airspace between you and me. Can you pre-call them, please? 120230. 120230 for Solent. November 20 Sierra, bye. Cheerio. They'll probably give you back to me shortly. Solent radar, November 1320 Sierra. November 1320 Sierra, Solent radar, pass message. Number 1320 Sierra, Cessna 182, squawking 7355, on IFR flight from Sussex to Dunkerswell, uh, requesting a transit uh, of your uh, your zone at this level, 5200 feet, QNH 1016. Number 20 Sierra, Roger, basic service initially, QNH 1018. Basic service, QNH 1018, number 20 Sierra. I want to be nicely established at exactly 5,000 feet before I enter the airspace. Oh, I've lost my GoPro. Oh, the GoPro has gone from the wing. I was worried that would happen. It was an oldest GoPro. I'm more upset about losing the footage from this flight than I am about losing the GoPro. Ah! Oh. Shit, it's in the sea. Remember, 200 you have any control there, space radar control service. Roger, radar control, November 200 Sierra. November 200 Sierra for Bournemouth, Squawk 7355. Squawking 7355 for Bournemouth, November 200 Sierra. Right. That has straight... 200 Sierra, contact Bournemouth, radar now, 118 decimal 480, goodbye. Uh, 118 or 119480? Uh, you're right, it's 119480, thank you. 119 decimal 480, November 200 Sierra, thanks, bye. Fox, Sabbath, 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 5,000 feet, QNH 1018, November 200. November 200, thank you. We'll be going over the Bravo India Alpha. There is traffic 1,000 feet below your level in the hold at Augusta 109. Roger the holding traffic, November 200. Down there, I could easily glide clear of that cloud if I needed to. Just nice to know. Uh, Is the Isle of Wight? Solid. Feet. Cloud base, below me, in every other direction. Easy There's the wing, without the GoPro. You're number three, but there's no speed. That has strengthened my resolve. To get a permanent GoPro mount fixed on the wing. I have traffic at four and five thousand feet that I'm watching you through. Because any of you watching this thinking that's not okay, that GoPro could have fallen and hit a building or a person, even worse, and do real damage, yeah. Guilty as charged. Not okay. I didn't want to lose it, I thought I put it on very securely, I think. 
on an altitude, temperature, moisture, who knows. I hope it didn't do any damage on its way down. I think it went into the sea. But, I'm going to either get a strap on the strut, or get a permanent mount fix onto the wing. No more suction cups. That's the second GoPro I've got on the suction cup. The first one was a, on the side of a seaplane over Lake Como quite a few years ago. So the conspicuity on the iPad screen there, we've got plane at my 4 o'clock, 2,000 feet below. So that's going, it's descending, going into Bournemouth. And someone in the hold they run around in the hold 1,000 feet below. Just a reminder in case this is the first time you've watched my my flying videos. Resume navigation. Oh, now one. All of this, all of my flying, is working towards my pilot skills being good enough to take my kids around the world in the seaplane. I want to have a full instrument rating, twin rating as well, obviously, and a turbine I'll need for the, for the twin otter that I want to fly. But most importantly, I just want to have real hands-on instrument experience. So. Um, a lot of my vlogs are flying vlogs, but it is also about kids, about camping, about business, everything I need to make that trip happen, which is... 771, pop-up traffic just outside of controlled airspace to the northwest of you, three miles, primary only contact, no tight indicated, might be something small... Three like things I need to make that trip happen are pilot experience, lots of it, that I haven't got yet. 771, it's not um, to turn right, heading 010 degrees. Happy kids that want to do the trip. Roger, coming right, zero one zero. And a lot more money than I've got now. Helicopter ahead, three miles, one thousand feet below, reciprocal heading. I, that's what I just got in the audio from the uh, iPad, and you can see on the iPad screen now. That's the helicopter. This is the whole three two zero zero. I have uh, extras eleven fifty weather when you can copy. Ready to copy two zero zero. Surface wind 260 degrees, 8 knots, varying between 230 and 300 degrees. Visibility greater than 10 kilometers. Cloud broken 2,100 feet. Temperature 19, 2.14, and their QNH 1019. Copy that, 200, thank you. 772, leaving controlled airspace shortly. Traffic service. Traffic service, that's up to I reckon that that weather means that I'm going to need to use a, to do an instrument descent. 102 feet is the threshold elevation. And I've got a 600 foot minimum, so 702 feet is my decision altitude. Test 171, climb flight level 230. 602 feet. Climb flight level 230, test On the QFE. Right. Tuned, tuned. Echo x ray tuned. DME tuned, all. November 1320 Sierra, leaving controlled airspace. What type of service? Traffic service, please, 200 Sierra. 200 Sierra, roger. Traffic, 12 o'clock, 10 miles, opposite direction. Same level, believed to be a uh, DA42 not working me. Roger, the traffic not sighted, looking out, 200 Sierra. The DA40, I think, will be coming on frequency shortly. Roger that, 200 Sierra, watching out. So opposite direction okay, traffic, okay, same okay. level. Charlie, Tango, Sierra Hotel, DA40, inbound with information below me, QNH 1018, altitude 5,000 feet, heading 075 degrees, request the ILS runway 26. Doctor, Tango, Sierra Hotel. That's the other aircraft. Bravo, current 1018 is correct, your identified traffic service. Turn left now, please, fly heading of north, opposite direction traffic, same level, working me. Bravo, 1018, and turning left, heading north. Go to your hotel. Descent to altitude 4,000 feet. It's vectors for the ILF 26 and Squawk 735. Thank you, controller. Descent altitude 4,000 feet. Squawk 7350. Vectors ILF runway 26. Go to your hotel. November 2-0, The previously called DA40 is now in your 1 o'clock. Range of 4 miles. Tracking north and descending. Working me. Roger the traffic. Not sighted. 2 zero, zero. Thank you. Fox Sierra Hotel, turn right, heading 07. And he's zero clearly degree. not Your intentions from the using a conspicuity device either. Did you see how quick that went from 10 miles away to 4 miles away? Well, the closing speed of, I suppose, 300 knots, nearly, that's 5 miles a minute.
It was at the Gulf Sierra Hotel. Gulf Sierra Hotel, eight turn, turn right heading 080 degrees downwind, and when you can, your intentions. The mile every 12 seconds. 080 degrees, and this will be to land Gulf Sierra Hotel. Speed. Traffic engine 12 o'clock just popped up two miles at 600 feet, believed to be a Chinook. As you turn to the east, it shouldn't be a factor. Roger, Gulf Sierra Hotel. Right, the cloud now stretches as far as I can see in every direction, except behind me to my left. Something else I've noticed about air traffic controllers. That guy at Bournemouth, he was there when I flew to Sussex yesterday. And he was busy. And if you watch that video of my flight to Sussex yesterday, you realise I was having a stressful time staying VFR below a very low cloud base. And I needed... Yeah, seven. Your intentions from this approach. This please. guy. I needed his help. And no matter how busy he was, his tone was always calm and relaxed. He wasn't flustered. And first of all, that, in my view, is consummate professionalism. Right turn, clear to leave controlled airspace on track. Consummate professionalism. So whoever you are at Bournemouth on the 17th and 18th of August 2021, um, thank you. Farmer guy, I don't know if you heard earlier on, I asked him uh, if he would get, get my uh, clearance with Bournemouth sorted, and he kind of went, oh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Just puts you off asking, which I suppose is the point why they're slightly grumpy. Although when I rang Farmer this morning to discuss the flight, they were very helpful. But to any... ATC guys operating, guys and girls. Yeah, when you're when you're a relatively inexperienced private pilot and you're pushing your boundaries, your tone and demeanour can directly impact pilots' stress levels in both directions. You can reduce our stress and you can increase our stress just with a slight change in your demeanour. Ah, you've obviously got a very stressful job as well. Um, but it's, the point I'm trying to make is, it's amazing just how sensitive your stress and confidence levels are to the tone of voice of the controller you're dealing with when you're in a slightly stressed, you know, challenging, not necessarily stressed, but just a challenging flight situation. November 1320, Sierra traffic 12 o'clock, 8 miles opposite direction, indicating same level as in DA40, not working me. Report leaving the frequency. Roger, uh, um, would you be able to, to arrange a hand over to Exeter for me? Uh, we'll pre note you over. Roger that, 20 Sierra. And watching out for that traffic, not sighted, 20 Sierra. Roger. Pre note, I assume it means pre notify, it's the first time I've heard that term. Right, watching out for that traffic. Hotel, slightly extended routing in number three in traffic, turn left now heading one zero zero degrees. Turn left heading one zero zero degrees, Gulf Sierra Hotel. Traffic in sight, two zero zero. Two zero seven, Roger, for extra radar, Scorch zero four two three. Scorch zero four two three, for extra radar, number two zero zero. Autopilot so far holding the heading nicely. Need to be ready to. Intercept the localizer, that's my next job. Got a good vertical rate of descent. Right, stop descent 2,600 feet, which is soon. Over 2 zero, zero. descent to altitude 2,200 feet, and then further with the glide path. Descent 2,200 feet, and then further with the glide path, 2 zero, zero. Look at that. The VFR. Oh, that's a relief. And there's extra runway right in front. That's not too bad. Still autopilot. I'm going to get a bit lower. 200 Sierra. Uh, extra runway in sight. Um, now VFR. I've got so the ground in sight. Just descending a little bit further before I break off my approach. Roger that. And uh, it will be uh, further descent with your own terrain once you break off the approach. Uh, QNH means 1019. 1019, 200 Sierra. And uh, own terrain clearance. That's all correct. November 200, Dunk is well in sight and changing frequency. 200. November 200, Roger. Squawk Conspicuity and Dunk's well. Good day. 
Cosmic Q team, one, two, three, four, four, eight, zero. Bye-bye. Tango's on radio, November 1320, Sierra, requesting airfield information. Inbound from Exeter, uh, from, from the southwest, for runway 22. November 1320, Sierra, runway 22, left hand, QFE 990. 22, left hand, QFE 990, November 20, I'm glad I was forced to do that, rather than wimping out and doing a visual descent. November 20 Sierra, downwind, long downwind, Romy 22 to land. Yeah, okay. yeah. go for me, Oscar, we got three to run. Uh, Roger, me too, three to run on, on, on downwind. I'll, I'll give way to you, 20 Sierra, if you're on long final. Thanks, go for me, Oscar. Slow the plane down. Brakes are off, undercarriage is down and fixed. Mixture is rich. Fuels on both. Prop full forward. Whoa, get out of that cloud. Putting the flaps up, maybe balloon up a bit. Let's put 20 degrees in. Nice and slow. So I just landed. All for me, Oscar finals with two to run. Two zero zero, just starting downwind, Romy two two. Reds, greens, blues, autopilot off, landing light on. Cow flaps open. Looking for that plane on final. Right, contact. Contact with the plane on short final, 200, turning left base. 200, turning finals, runway 22 to land, full stop. Bit of a crosswind there. Two zero Sierra, clearing the active runway. Uh, runway vacated. Solo Radio, IMC. Solo IMC flight. For reals. Completed. Now, slight confession. I used the autopilot on my approach on my ILS. So I just focused on my altitude and I checked that the autopilot was working okay. But the autopilot definitely lightened my load and I've got to do a lot more practice on ILS approaches, I think. That was more challenging but less stressful than scud running. Oh, I'm super happy that I did that. I'm super happy that I just used the rating that I've got and the equipment that I've got. That was, honestly, the, the experience you gain, the, the amount you learn from actually doing it for real is more than anything that you do in, in lessons, actually. For some reason, when you've got an instructor, there's just this psychological safety net there where someone else has got everything covered. When you're on your own, you are on your own. And you've got to figure everything out yourself. And the removal of that psychological safety net of an instructor sitting next to you is the part that makes you grow the most, I think. Well, there's a steep turn. Let's see if my theory is right about the oil. Let's see what the oil level is now. Yeah, it's back up between the two notches. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I am getting to know my plane well enough that I can disregard erroneous readings. 
been cloth before in this season. He always gets upset when I cut grass in the pond. Rock and roll. It just looks amazing. It's just like the cutest little thing. You see you rock up with your picnic basket. It just is so cute. <laughs> it's like something out of a film, isn't it? I'm just like, oh my god, that's just so adorable. <laughs> <laughs>